Can shopping make you a better fashion designer? On today's episode, we'll be looking at how shopping around some of the biggest brands out there can make you a better designer. I have thousands and thousands of clothes. I think I have like 30,000 pieces. I'm Kim Kardashian West, and I am the founder of Skims. On today's episode, I'll be giving you guys where you need to go to be able to note down items, skews, sizes, colors, the atmosphere, so that you can see what's trending, what your competitors are doing, so you can learn from them in order to design, develop, market, and sell a collection that people and your consumers are going to flock to. The first question is, where should you shop? You should target a look-alike audience or a brand that would serve a similar audience to you. You need to be hyper-focused on your niche and be able to identify the closest possible competitors and visit those stores. What are the aims of this shopping exercise? First is going to be to analyze the collections that these brands are selling in store and on their online e-commerce sites. Two, how the shopping experience complements the designer's aspirational values for the brand and the overall image that they're trying to project. So you want to be able to note effectively how the environment that's being created to promote sales and interest in the brand itself. So what should you look for when visiting these stores? When it comes to the clothing, first thing you want to do is identify the target market. Next up, look at the products holistically and try to evaluate what the color story is. Go through each of the products. So the easiest way to see what fibers you should be using in your specific industry is to target at what existing brands that are doing well in the space are offering and to be able to understand why they're offering it so that you can get a step ahead. Look at the subtle design details, the cues, the stitching. All of these will give you an indication of where your niche is heading. Effectively think about the merchandising of the garments. Also, look at how many specific pieces of a specific style are on the rack. Look at the size ranges available. Look at the inspiration of the overall garments and the collections as a whole. One key thing is that you must look at what the brands perceive as being the must-have items for the season. This is very easy. Usually must-have items will be displayed front and center, either on a center stand, a center rack, or on a mannequin display. When it comes to the clothing, look at your response, your initial gut instinct. At the end of the day, you are a designer with your own thoughts and your own opinions. If you find yourself consistently across brands within your niche, not gravitating towards the collections, try to understand, is this your own personal opinion or are the brands missing a gap in the market that you could potentially come in and fill with your unique expertise? Next up, you have the retail experience. Is the shop more open or does it tend to consist of closed in and narrow corridors? What is the lighting? Is the lighting bright and exposed? Is it dim lighting? Also look at the scent. Are perfumes being put into the air? If so, what types of perfumes. Look at whether or not the shop experience complements the collection. These unique elements give you a way to further get into the mind of your customer. Look around. Look at the customers in the store. Try to analyze the customer avatar profile. There's no better place than at a closest possible competitor to be able to accurately take down notes on your customer avatar. If you feel that a competitor that you're visiting is close to you in terms of the niche that you want to target, not only should you be looking at the shop itself, but look at the other stores that are within the proximity of the store. If you guys are interested in my opinion on how you can further understand your customer avatar and your customer base to be able to craft a unique brand identity and to serve a customer in unique ways that other brands cannot. Well, I offer consultation services one-on-one -on -one every single week with limited slots. So check the link in the description. Guys, if you're not subscribed to the channel, well, we put out content every single week, twice a week, and have done so for the last six years and don't plan on stopping anytime soon. If you are one of the 300 viewers that watches these videos consistently, I thank you from the very bottom of my heart. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to this episode of Fit Design TV. Until next week's episode, stay awesome.